Good morning. I'm Chief of Police Josh Berniger, and I'm joined by Deputy Chief Rene Dominguez. On Saturday, September 30th, at about 12.36 a.m., correction, p.m., the Watertown Police responded to a residence on Hadley Street in Oakville for a report of a 14-year-old boy having fallen down the stairs with a head injury. The 911 call was placed by the child's grandmother, who had just arrived at the residence. Prior to the grandmother arriving, the boy had been home alone. Arriving officers found the boy on the first floor of the residence bleeding heavily from an injury to his head. The boy was conscious but incoherent. Medical aid was immediately rendered by responding members of the Watertown Fire Department. Officers followed a blood trail up the stairs and into a bedroom used by adult members of the family. A significant amount of blood was found in this bedroom as well as an empty holster for a revolver. Our initial investigation has revealed that the boy accessed an unsecured 22 caliber revolver from within the residence while home alone. The boy proceeded to play with the firearm, during which time a shot was discharged, striking the boy in the head. The discharge appears to be accidental. The boy was transported to Waterbury Hospital, where he was listed in critical but stable condition. He was later transported by LifeStar to Connecticut Children's Medical Center, where his condition remains critical but stable. The residence on Hadley Street was secured and a search warrant sought. Members of the Watertown Police Department executed the search warrant Saturday evening and retrieved approximately 23 firearms from the residents, many of which were unsecured. This investigation is ongoing by the Watertown Police Department in collaboration with the Department of Children and Families and the Waterbury State's Attorney's Office. The Watertown Oakville community is heartbroken by this preventable tragedy. We are praying for a speedy and full recovery for our young resident. Our message to every gun owner is this. Secure your firearms in accordance with the law. That means in a locked container where any person not eligible, eligible to possess that firearm cannot access it. At this time, no other information is available. Thank you. Yes, this was the boy's permanent residence, yes. And um, the grandmother, did she live there? She did. Did anybody that does this belong to or were they registered? We are still trying to assess all that information at this time. Did anybody else live in the home? Uh, the child's mother and grandparents uh, all resided in the residence together. And we don't know at this time if all of those guns are owned legally or owned to those people? We do not. Were other children living in the house as well? That we are still trying to determine as well. Is any, are any charges being filed so far against anyone in the home? So we have to continue gathering all the facts, and once we put that all together, uh, we'll, we'll work in collaboration with the state attorney's office to determine if charges are appropriate. And I'm sure you're well aware of the fact that this happened the day before those new safe storage laws went into effect. Would you like to speak on that at all? Yeah. The. Uh, uh, Safe storage laws did change on October 1st to uh, basically exempt uh, provisions where uh, if a child or someone ineligible to possess a handgun uh, gains illegal entry to a home to obtain that gun, uh, that's been changed now to say basically even if they enter illegally into a residence and obtain a gun, that's still unsecured weapon and the owner of that gun can be liable. So the message is clear, lock your guns up, regardless of who lives in that house or who has direct access in that house, lock your guns up. Chief, Chief is this a case where Ethan's law may come into effect? It may. Can you give any specifics on the types of weapons that were found? I can at this time, no. And are they legally purchased? Still, still assessing that information. Any of the guns at all stored properly? Uh, a, two or three of them are stored properly. Out of, Out of the 23, correct.
Any other questions? Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you.